So one of the issues I said about the car was the sound system. It was really bad. And when you find yourself going on a 2000 mile rally, having some good sounding music can do wonders. But with the speakers being this shocking, my passenger Andrew started to improvise. <laughs> But I don't think having Andrew sing in the car all the time is a long-term solution. Lamborghini have said on the newer cars, they will upgrade the sound system. However, I'm not waiting. So I took it upon myself to create the world's first custom-built sound system in a Lamborghini Revuelto. So obviously Pav, everyone knows Pav. Hi Pav. Hello. So I've called Pav to say, right, we need to put a sound system in this car. At the moment, it's only in the doors, is it? Is it in the doors anywhere else? Right, so we have doors, I can tell already, tiny. The problem I can see already, Yam, yeah. is you're limited to the sound coming through the perforation. Okay. Already that's not good. So can we... Yeah, we can do something. I don't want to... Listen, I'm definitely not doing a custom build on yep. my door card. Okay. But I am, happen to, I am happy to make more holes in the door card Good man. to get more sound out. Okay. We do have a lot of space behind the yep. seats. That's an advantage for us. So if we need to put a sub in the back, we can do. Yeah, so what Lamborghini are going to do on the upgrade is yeah. they're going to have a bigger speaker in the door. Yeah. And they'll have a grill which will allow more bass to come through. Okay. Basically, they're going to grill everything. So what are we running five at the moment? Moment. We're running two, one, two, three, four. four. No, I'm one in the front. Center five. channel, but that's dead. Okay, fine. But we're yeah. still yeah, going to be running five. That's right. Okay, and what they're going to do? They're going to upgrade. They're going to upgrade with two in the rear. So they're going to go from five to what? Seven. seven. Okay, the two in the rear should make a big difference. That's right. Plus, if you upgrade the mids and tweeters. There you go we should get it. And to explain what mids and tweeters are, as well as subwoofers, you need to have a basic understanding of how sound works. And a basic way of explaining that is that sound has different frequencies, spanning from high pitch sound to low pitch sound. And there are different types of speakers for different ranges of sound. The subwoofer is responsible for low frequency bass sound. The mids handle the most significant part of the audible sound spectrum, responsible for musical instruments and the human voice. And for tweeters are for sounds such as cymbals, string instruments, and higher pitched vocals on a high frequency. With all these speakers working in unison with each other, you're able to hear a wider spectrum of sound. And this is what we're aiming to do with this Revolto sound system. If we don't add a sub, yep. we're going to add what, just one amp? I would like to definitely add amplification because whenever we upgrade a sound system, you will have to do some sort of amplification and some sort of processor. Okay. So we need to work out how this system works first and then I'll be able to know what processor, what amplification, and then I'll say to Yan, these are our options. Pick one, bro. <laughs> okay, could we get away with one amp and go four channel? Well, I'm thinking something along the lines of going old school and maybe adding more speakers with one amp to do everything. So okay. we're going to have one big amp, so to speak. Yeah. But have How many channels? Probably a five channel. Okay. So I will try and add some sort of subwoofer, maybe an eight or a six. I know it sounds sixes, but nowadays technology is evolved wow. big time. I remember we used to put eights and I weren't happy with. We had to go 10, 12. That's right. You know so what, what I mean? we're going to do now is, for example, where there would be two speakers at the back, I would throw four at the back. Because we've got space here, let's use the space we've got. We don't want to make no holes, don't damage anything. In my eyes, I want to build you a box that slips in here that will have our amps house all the way across there the back. There you go. Oh, do you say six by nines? I would go six by six nines. Six by nines, old school. Do you remember six by nines on the parcel shelf? That's yes. what we used to do. The only BMWs. Because, yeah, only because I've been using them six recently. Six by nine is that shape, by the and way. And they give you a wider range of sound, overall sound depth, and they're hitting hard. And with the six by nine, we're not necessarily worried about the box size, right. are we? Because you're not having to worry about the ports there or anything go. else behind there you it. Go. Yeah. So you could just get away with it. And what I want to do with your set, I want to do it so you can't see nothing. So what, yeah, but you're gonna see you're gonna see the box behind. We're built in the same carpet. That's the Alcantara. And we're gonna see just we're gonna see just the grills on the front. Yeah, so what I wanna do. Are you gonna run them flush or this grill gonna protrude? Always flush with this. I would have to start stripping this maybe this week and then we can work out exactly how we're gonna run this. Now, while he's doing that, I'm peeling my stickers off. I like to be able to hear the music. Of course. And I like the <laughs> yes, yeah, top end. The top end. I do like. Yeah, I do like the bass. Obviously, and I want bass. Of course. But I don't like to drown. No. I don't not. like to drown the music out. That's what I want to try and achieve from this is top end clarity. Because let's be honest now, B line ain't happening in one of these. Like proper yeah. heavy B line. Yeah, I don't want B line exactly. anyway. Exactly. So let's. I, do a nice... I want bass, oh, but course. I don't want. We're gonna get bass. Stupid. We're gonna get bass. Let's uh, make some noise. Make some noise. Okay. Make some noise. All right. Well, we got the plan. I'm here taking the stickers off, but cool. we've got the plan. Right, well, I'm going to get back to work. Later, Pavi. Good to see you. Later, Love. <sighs> That 
sun shining. Finito. When you were looking online, had anyone streamed no. these before? No. Uh -uh. I think I'm just gonna have to take these seats out and fucking go to town on it. Pav had to carefully take apart the Revolto, but being his first time working on one of these cars, he had to take extra care when dismantling it. As you can see, we're still stripping. Um, I found what I was looking for, which is the amplifier, or the brain, so to speak. So we're gonna get to that now. Do a little test, make sure we know what wiring does what. And then we're gonna start stripping the doors, and then start running cables, dynamating, so on and so forth. And now the panels were off, Pav was going to be able to assess the quality of the sound system in the Revuelto. Looking at this, this isn't even a six inch driver. Here's a tweeter. Looking at the quality of it is really bad. What we're gonna do now is take the other door card off. I wanna take these speakers out, plug back the plug that goes into the amplifier, and then we're gonna do a little test, i.e. parking sensors, car phone kit, beeps on the seat belts, any warnings, just to make sure to see what comes out through what speaker, and then we can work out what processor we need to get, so on and so forth. So what we're doing now is basically just working out what kit we're gonna go for. It's looking good so far, so let's crack on with the other door. So doors have been stripped, amplifiers been found. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test to see what's going on with the parking sensors, so on and so forth. Gus, if you'd just like to go to the back for me, mate. I know we're not gonna be able to do this while you're filming. So as you can see, Gus is walking past. Sensors are working good. Gus, you wanna go to the front for me, bro? Good man, right, so I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna work out what equipment to go for. So um, I pre-made uh, the box at my unit because I didn't want to cause no dust here because Jan hates dust. So we're gonna give it a little fitment now just to make sure everything lines up. I'm happy with that. So I'm just doing a, a check now just to make sure that the seats go back how I want them to go back because we're gonna be adding a fascia on top of this so you can't see anything right there. Perfect. Right, so that's our box in. Now I'm gonna concentrate on the door speakers now. So we'll get the collars fitted, get the speakers in, crossovers, tweeters, box the front end up, and then start running some wires for the amplifiers. And then Pav started upgrading the door speakers. But whilst he's working on these, he had something interesting to show me. Right, one thing I didn't like about the car is that it had no volume control. Yes. Pav's now got a knob. <laughs> Pause. Let me see your little knob. Uh, okay then. So, wow, it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> okay, and this here, as I understand it, understands it does volume. It does volume, bass, bass controller, treble. and I believe you can change settings from different EQ Treble presets. as well or no? Yes, treble as well. So literally, that'll do the volume up and down. Oh, Push cool. it. I wanted one of these fitted. People are like, oh my God, what are you doing? Do you know what? It just makes it so much easier to turn the volume up and down rather than it doing that across. It is better. Uh, we're going to make a custom pod that will fit in here and the button will be located there. Press it. And the good thing is, I know it's a big knob. It will blend in with the vehicle because we'll kind of hide it in a way. So let's have a look at what's going in the car. So we've got a 10 inch subwoofer. Those are your mids and tops in the doors. And those are your six by nines. And that's the amplifier that will run everything. All this is something that we used to use all the time. And Hertz speaks for itself. So I spoke to Raj at Car Radio Security and Hayes who supplied all the stuff and I told him what Pav wanted and he said to me to be honest that is exactly what I would have put in the car so Raj and Pav both had the same idea this is not free by the way <laughs> but they looked after me that's a shout out to Raj at Car Audio Security and Hayes for supplying us everything and also shout out for Car Audio who are the UK distributors for Hertz and for Audison mids tweeters tweeters mids say so mid bass say so mid bass why? Why can't I just say mids and tweeters? Because that's a mid base unit. A mid range could be a three inch, a four inch. That's a six inch. So it'll be more that's of a six mid inch. Base. Get your todger out and you'll see. Because man's tricking as well. <laughs> todger and knobs when you're putting in sound. I finally put a knob in my car. Go sit in it. Yeah. <laughs> I had one the whole tour. He really? <laughs> sat in the passenger seat. Good, isn't it? Okay, so this is the original panel that sits in the car in the front. And remember, we were talking about Pav's knob. Okay. But nice knob, Pav. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's nice, isn't it? Hey, oh, oh, he likes to click. Click and collect. That's like lovely. Nice angle. That's nice. And that'll sit. Hang yeah, yeah, don't worry. Will it fit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it to me. It's fine. How, it's you, gonna, how you going to mount it in there? Leave it to me, bro. Pav. It don't looks, worry. It looks too big, Pav. It is a bit big, don't worry. It's too big, innit? We it? can trim it. We can trim it. It's fine. fine. I'd rather have more. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, less. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't add more. There you go, brother. You can, you can always reduce. <laughs> That's it. And now for the main component of this whole sound system, the big boy box. You saw it earlier, and here it is now. Right, so I just picked up this panel from uh, Beecham. Big up Adam, big up Neil, big up John. I mean, what can I say? How beautiful does that look? What I'm gonna do now is we're getting some custom laser cut grills made just so it can look a bit more nice. So I wanna fit this in now, see how this looks. But yeah, let's have a go. So we're just setting up the sound system now. Just like to say a big thank you to Blade from Cardio and Security, absolute legend. And we're gonna run through a few things now, make sure all the speakers are sounding good. I've got my EQ band here, so I'm gonna have a little play, a little tweak. So, um, yeah. Pav worked his magic and I gave it a first listen. And I'll be honest with you, I was blown away. Pav, is the car done? Yes, it's done. Finish? Yes. Right, look, check it out, have a look. Damn. You like it? It looks exactly like my leather. What is that? Velvet? Oh, it looks well good, doesn't it? And obviously the grills now protect it because I ain't gonna lie, I do push my seat really far back, but Pav did make sure that I didn't lose any of my space. And so if ever you want to take the box out, yeah. I would recommend you to do this. So come driver side, recline your seats all the way forward. Yeah. Then at the top, you're gonna dip it down forward and then just slide it like this. Oh wow, that's The simple. plugs on the passenger side, Yeah. unplug it, Slides out like slides this. Slides out this way, That's and then it. you slide it back in that way. That's it. The plugs are directional, so you can't muddle them up. But it wasn't finished just yet, because it was time to take the car to Car Audio Security in Hayes to get the speakers professionally tuned to my liking. So the car sounds great. Yes. We needed to give it a special tune. A little fine tweaking. So we've come down here, and uh, they're going to run the system for it, and they're going to tweak it to Jan's spec. And I'm just here just to learn a few bits and bobs as well. And that's it. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. This, this place is incredible as well. So I'll show you around here as well. But yeah, let's get the car tuned. Blade's about to do his magic. And I'm going to jump on the car with Blade and uh, tune it up for you. Right, you weren't wrong, were you? When you were like, I'm getting no bass out of the car. <laughs> There's no bass. Straight away, look at that. Mate, mate it's a different... <laughs> It's like, it's like he's fitting a different, another sub in there. And I couldn't believe the difference in the sound after a tune. I can now say that the Revolto actually had a good sound system. While I'm here with Raj, Raj is the owner of Coral Security. Now, Raj is OG old school. He's got like a, like a hidden cave here where he's got some real old school cars. So Raj, if you don't mind, we'll leave them do that. Can we go and see some old school cars? Let's hold on here. We'll save Raj's car collection for another video coming soon. The issue I have now, it's hard to describe how the sound system sounds as you guys at home won't be able to hear it through this video. But trust me, it's day and night from when we first started. It's a massive, massive improvement to how it was from factory. I'll be honest. It was that bad. bad. We could have put a yeah. bow speaker see, yeah. in the back <laughs> with Happy. a Bluetooth and that would have improved it. It was that bad. And no, it's, Lambo, it's very disappointing to spend nearly £600,000 on a car and the sound system to be so poor, especially the fact that I'm coming from Honduras where yes. it's got B&O. 100%. But it's the joys. If you get an early car, it is what it is. You just have to accept it. it. If you do want a sound system fabrication or anything else, you can hit me up direct or you can hit Pav up direct. I probably reply a little bit better than Pav because Pav's always on the tools. Mad. But you obviously know who I am. You've got my details and Pav's details are on the screen now so you can go directly to him but Pav's still my guy we still work together we still do everything together yep. um, and it'll always be a, a joint a JV there you go simple love <laughs>